TSM's inhibitor, and Zion is going there as soon as he spots. He's gonna take that inhibitor down again. Let's see if Dignitas actually pushes out of the base, or they hold this and make it look interesting. Does he go? Because if they die, they're gonna lose mid as well. He's thinking about Zion's it. Zion Spartan's holding. There's a minion wave that's going right past him. He yeah. may actually wait, because you can see the same wave in your base, but they have vision. This, this is crazy. so tricky. It's crazy. TSM wants to break the wall right now. If they can get a kill or push in 5v4, they can theoretically end the game, which is stopping Zion from being able to teleport in right now. The fear of the 5v4, because finally, yeah. TSM has Dyrus with the team. Dyrus gets hit up. This might be the time. Now he starts to teleport. He goes in. Dyrus is going to have to get out with the team. He leaves the slicing maelstrom on. Crumbs goes for the speed up on the ultimate. Dyrus really able to TP. jump in. That's going to be stop. locked on. They the inhibitor. The Mason gets hit. Kiwi Kid's a little too far here. He's going to have to try and get himself out. Living artillery and the rest of the shots of fire. Zion right. is just Eight killing the next out. Zion Spartan could easily single-handedly win the game by himself. 54-54 on the clock. The Nexus turret. He has made it's gonna be on to the next. Amazing, kind of amazing. He misses the shock wave, or the sonic wave, I should say. And he hits the Tempest. The cripple may slow the attack, but it's not on that anymore. Oh my god. He's gonna be able to hit it. A few last hits. He oh got my it. god, he wins the oh game. Oh my god. All by himself. The inhibitors and the Nexus turrets. Zion Spartan wins the game for Dignitas. He had 172 health by the time he got that last hit on the Nexus. Amazing needed all to use his ultimate and he would have stopped the push but he didn't do it in time because that last siphoning strike from Anassis with I can't even check because I'm inspecting 690 bonus damage on his siphoning strike and by the way a BF sword won the game single-handedly absolutely ridiculous play we still have more games as they are sitting on top of a potential win here but we've seen big throws and we're at the 30 minute mark remember sk gaming they've done it a number of times against Fnatic. they can sneak in but they have a long long way to go to try and catch in there the damage getting poked towards frog and you can see yellow star he's going to be the key into this one we've seen it so many times he can learn keep that damage down and they are trying to defend their final inhibitor can they keep evil geniuses away from this now the baron buffs worn off well we'll have to see when they decide to engage because they have super minions in the middle super minions in the bottom they can't defend the top and eg may want to pick up a kill here cyanide's gone in he's gone in crepper has used the defensive there's going to be the chain of corruption but misfortune just turns around yellow peak does get caught out yellow peak's going to go down he just managed to get caught out peke gets in there gets one gets a reset Gets a second. Can he get the third? It doesn't matter because Frog is back door. And he's taken down two Nexus to it. He's not going to be able to quite get this. Nexus surely to God. He can't get away to this one. Oh, he's going to get taken down. Oh, the, minions. the minions. The minions are on the Nexus. He does go down, but the minions are going to take it. He's got it. I do not believe what Frog just did. He's just on a Peke on Peke. Evil Genius have lost it. Look at them. They are jumping. They are screaming. There are going to be tears of joy in the Genius's camp because that was a genius play. Peke, he created it. But right now, Froggen perfected it. Absolute brilliant play and Froggen proving why many say he is the best in the world. And really putting his mark out there, I think I would say, as a top Twisted Fate player. So. What a game, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get over to Joe and Jason to take us through the decimation that Evil Geniuses just put on Fnatic. Where has that Evil Geniuses team been hiding? They've, they've needed that team. Again, Edward catching three members of KT Bullets into that play. And, well, the chase on Leopard took a little bit while longer, but the hook came out from Eddie once again. So, Baron will be up in around about a minute's time once this replay runs its course. And we can see this is possibly going to be the focus, but look at the position. KT Bullets, they they're looking back for a backdoor. They're going to backdoor it. It's going to be a base race. They're going to go around the backside. Gambit are on the top of the map. They've got Leopard in the oh mid lane right word. now. Leopard's going up there. He's going to be the one that's oh going to stop God. them from recalling from this. They've taken down the inner turret. There is they're Leopard going. spotted by it. The, they're going to use the talisman. They're going for this one. Leopard is going to be chased by Gambit. They don't have time. They can't do that. They cannot go for Leopard. They're trying to recall right now, but they're My going in for the Nexus turret. Can you believe it? The KT boys no go straight through into the base. Kedja comes down as well, but the Nexus what? goes down. Oh my god, can you believe it? The KT wow. boys in amazing fashion go through to the grand final of the Intel Extreme Masters World Championship.
But wow, wow, you have to give Gambit so much respect for coming back into this game. And then KT Bulls with this smart move, unnoticed, moving all the way around. And Liberty stayed there by himself. Wow, he's on the wall. He's on the wall. He's making his Here way in. Oh my gosh, he's going to say Zion Spartan. You just did this to my team. Now it's my turn. Guess who's back a trying to stop him? Shots. It's going to be Zion. Can he stop Zion him? comes in. He knows what's going on. The fight comes in. Can I kill him? Oh my god. They kill him. The Nexus is saved. 65 minutes and the game continues. Dyrus tries to get himself in. He's got tiny arms though and he can't get to the Nexus in time. Saplins won't be able to do it. He misses and Dignitas saves the day with the entire team. Why in the world would Wild Turtle use Culling when it's a hit away from winning the game on the Nexus? The spell doesn't hit the Nexus. Now Dignitas has four dead and they survive another day. This is ridiculous. Dignitas just taking the gold lead at 100,000 no gold now. 19 kills to 16. We're going to be breaching 70 minutes here coming up on this game and Dignitas on life support keeps themselves in this game with about 2,000 health left. Not even on the Nexus. Now they push in. Oh God. 40 seconds. Oh God. No, 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 no. Oh, there is another one. No way. A new challenger approaches. Amazing. Turn on the frenzy. Here pretty we low. go. The Nexus is still pretty low. It does heal. That's it. Nobody's got it. No one's got it. Ladies and gentlemen, game number three, one to one. TSM wins game number two. That, those creeps right back as well, using that. Uh, uh, that oh, never mind. The ultimate coming out of uh, Ezreal to uh, concentrate on this one to get through. There's a massive big play to see them pushing. Yeah, they've got a lot coming down there as well. They need to be careful that one, SK, but the damage they've got, they can probably finish this one off. It's five versus four anyway. It looks like they're going to go for that middle inhibitor turret and the inhibitor as well. XPK still got 45 seconds until he can spawn back into this one. Inhibitor turret does go down. Inhibitor, they will go for as well. They're going to go towards the inhibitor. They've got to be careful because they are super minions going down that midline, but they're going to try and finish this as quick as possible. They may well lose a Nexus to it for it. We'll see how that one works out. The super minions are starting to spawn down there. It's going to be the third inhibitor to the game. Sinai is going to get caught out. The oh, one just bounced left right. He just avoided that. Also, I finally finished him out. So tries to come around, but leaps out of it again. They do manage to pick up one kill. Can they get a second? Can they get a third? Strike to towards it. Sarah's on towards Herkibar. He's going to have his jump back available in a moment as soon as he catches back in there. Can he chase down Herkibar? Meanwhile, in the mid, we've also got Yellowstar pushing through. He's not going to chase this one through, and they're going to back off. They're going to back off. Two men down for Fnatic. That's the AD carry and the AP carry. We've got Cyanide, the only one down here. That's Ramos. That means. Surely, Fnatic have got that big advantage and they're going to push it. We've got Kazix leaping over the top of the wall. They are going to be going for this one. We're 55 minutes almost into this one. Yellow start hammering away on those creeps and rated and so as we're going to have it's PK coming in from the backside as well. There are the siege minions taken out. Are they going to go for the inhibitor or are they going to go straight through? 26 seconds for Ocelot, 20 seconds for Candy Panda. They are going to be going for this one. It's Yellow Star hammering away. XPK is there as well. There is the first name. Nexus, sorry, take him down. Second one's gonna be focused. Can they oh finish off the Nexus? This is close stuff. Eight seconds oh. for Candy Panda. They're gonna focus in towards the other star. Kevin going low. Yeah, yeah, Big yeah, yeah, kicking out yeah, silence coming in there as well. And Rayton will go down to Kevin. So that's gonna be the problem here as well. Yellow star has to back away. It's Peggy taking damage all over the place. Probably Jail is gonna land. Can they get him? Peggy is somehow gets away. Not quite able to finish the job. But Candy Panda took down Soaz. That means there's going to be a 70 second spawn timer. There's super minions, a massive wave of them going towards the Nexus turret right now. Fnatic have to get back and deal with them. Meanwhile, you can see that SK Gaming are just keeping them delayed. They've got two inhibitors down and they are just going to pile straight up towards those super minions in the base. You can see there's coming in there. Peke is definitely up towards the Nexus. Kevin is going to be able to get into it. He's trying to do it. But meanwhile, they're in the base. Yellow Star's trying to defend them in the base. Peke is trying to take the Nexus. Down. Is anyone going to be able to deal with this one? Catches him with another X. He's very low. No! They're pushing on the next one. Peggy's back to get it. I do not believe it. Peggy's stuck in there. Catching it. Takes down the Nexus. But now he's going crazy. Fast game. What's the best thing? That was the best, best, best thing I have seen in the entire history oh of League God. of Legends. The skill that that took there from Peggy. Must have been shaking. My God, it probably.
your first blood vessel trying to do that there at the end. That was insane. They were on both exits. It was so back and forward. What a crazy game. You've got to take your hats off to these two teams. They really put everything into that match. SK Gaming, of course, coming into this one. They wanted to give everything for Natic, saying they were only going to give 50%. I think they gave a lot more than that in that game. 50%, if that's 50%, season three, tonight you're gonna destroy everyone with blindfolds on. That was uh, pretty insane stuff. So SK, you can see on their faces there, every single one of them gonna be disappointed with that one. They, they had it, they had it in their hands. They were pushing those inhibitor turrets. I wouldn't say that it was a clear cut, 100% win for them. But Joe, how they good is this? Had how it. good is this? This is gonna happen every week. This is gonna happen every week. And People told us on Twitter, El Clasico, you can't call it that in League of Legends yet. Well, I think you just did. I think we just did become an El Clasico there, certainly. And that was just, I, I don't know, I've not, not seen something like that. I don't think ever. Honestly, that was an absolutely you insane. You should attention, because they knew if, if Tekko had died and he was one hit away from death, they would have lost because the... Candy Panda was on their base, the Nexus Tourists were going down, there was a massive wave of Super Minions. That game was lost within 10 seconds either way. Absolutely brilliant. So you can see Oslo, we know him as one of the most emotional men in League of Legends. And to lose like that, I think he'd rather have been wiped over in 20 minutes than spend 50